Welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I am JB. Today guys, we are going to dive into the charts for AVAX, the one hour, the one day and the one week. Have a look what has been going on most recently and what is likely to happen next. If you do enjoy the content coming to you and you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, subscribe, tap on the bell, select all the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto. You never want to miss a single one, of course. Let's get straight on down to the charts for AVAX today. Starting off with AVAX, paired up with USDT. On a one-hour chart, BitGet is the data source for this one. Where we can see AVAX has been on a bit of a run to the upside. Fantastic to see. We can see some really good gains on this one. In fact, almost 25% for the price action for AVAX, which obviously did not take overly long to do. We can get a rough date on this, around about 11 to 12 days, 25% gains. Fantastic to see if you were on the right side of that one. However, I think we are approaching the end of this push to the upside. We can take into account this move to the downside as a potential A wave, and we have came up into the retracement area for this move to the upside. We're obviously looking here at a move between the 9.8277 to as high as 10.8570 in this upper area, where we can zoom in a little bit here, or spread it open if you like. Uh, the wick high coming up to 10.7678. I think we are approaching the end of this push to the upside if it has not already happened. What we can take note of on the chart, although already we are showing a weak high on the charts and a strong low, I do expect a breakdown potentially in the C wave to the downside, pushing down as low as $8.29 and $7.80. Where we would obviously see on this push to the downside, a new bear market low once again for AVAX. Obviously, most recently over here on the, the 25th of September, we did see another new bear market low for AVAX. Continued push to the downside, I do expect. We can also see stacked up on the charts here, many fair value gaps left from this push to the upside, which are all likely to be reclaimed on this next move to the downside. So we can have a look at a few other key things on the charts. We have equilibrium sitting obviously the mid range for this push to the upside between the strong low and the weak high. The 50 EMA pushing right the way up higher than the 200 EMA I do expect obviously within time when this price does come back down we can expect these to retrace back over themselves. So we can set some initial target areas for this next push to the downside. We can take the retracement of this this initial move here in what I have marked up as this white C wave. We could be looking for the first move to the downside to come back down to the 0 0.5 at $10.04 to as low as $9.53. I would obviously look at this and consider our next moves from here. We could obviously be looking, will we be going back up from this position, breaking the a wave high I have set at $11.19 or from this position we'll be looking at the next move to the upside before a continued breakdown in this C wave structure which I do think is the likely scenario. When we come down here the stochastics on the 1 hour, the 4 hour, the 8 hour and the 1 day are all in the overbought position. When we bring on the RSI we can also see the RSI is sitting at around about 65% of its overall balance, we would zoom in this a little bit, we can see it has started to curve down here as well, uh, 68 is sorry, so I do expect further press to the downside for AVAX across many time frames, in particular here we're obviously looking at the one hour chart, where it is a bit of a, a scary sight to look at, you know, the push down to around about $8.29 to $7.80, but I've been calling this for quite some time, I do expect quite a pullback in the market, we would be looking at a 21.8% drop to a potential 26.5% drop to the downside, if you're going to get on the right side of that, it is a fantastic opportunity for shorting this market. First pit stop I do see coming in here at $10.04 to as low as $9.53. We will now jump over onto the one day chart where we can see we have entered into this target area where we're previously looking at for a potential W, X, Y, X and Z to the downside like so. Uh, that move up being the X wave and this being the, set, the Z wave to the downside. However, when we have a look at this in more sense, I believe this might be the second part of this move to the downside in this W, X, Y. We could take that as the initial push to the downside mark it right the way out here, bring it over to this swing high. We can see over here at $16, $15.96, we could be targeting a move lower down here 
overall on the daily chart to uh, $6.98 and $5.78, which, you know, what a fantastic opportunity to be getting into the prices for AVAX. When we look at the structures obviously playing out here on the one hour chart, we can see this move going on right within here. With the B wave high, we'll obviously be looking to come down in the C wave low. And we can overall look at this as a potential A, B and C to the downside. We would obviously have to give this some more time to play out, but we could take the moves that have gone on here, this just being an A wave, this being a B wave, and this being the C wave, I think is the likely scenario to play out over obviously a much longer time here for AVAX. Again, we can take into account the stochastic on the daily is an overbought position. The RSI is approaching the overbought position also. So I think in the coming days, weeks and potential months, we are going to see the prices for AVAX drop into such a fantastic position. Once again, guys, the bear market low currently sits at $8.62. I do expect that one to be broken, but you guys give us your thoughts and your opinion on that one. Have we seen the bottom for AVAX or do we still expect the bottom to come? We'll quickly jump over to memberships.cheekycrypto.io. You know the script by now, guys. It is a fantastic website and there is a seven day free trial on all plans. Um, go over and check it out. There's nothing really much more we can add on this. We talk about it very often. It gets you access to the higher levels in our private Discord. Obviously, the Discord is free, but having your membership opens up many more channels within the Discord. There is twice weekly AMAs, one of which is tonight with Chris and Nick. Twice weekly live TA sessions where we also have TA on request on the one hour, the four hour and the one day charts from which trading ideas are generated from, from our trading bot. Obviously, there's a host of additional benefits here. The courses, the articles, the news, the airdrop reviews, the accumulation zones, where we target projects to go in this bear market, and of course, the data portal where we are watching all of the on-chain data for many projects. Guys, head on over and check it out. You're missing out if you have not been there already. Once again, that is memberships.cheekycrypto.io. There is a seven-day free trial on all plans. Back to the charts, guys. We're obviously looking at these moves that are playing out where I do expect us to see lower prices for AVAX on the daily, where we're looking at potential $6.98 to as low as $5.78. I think it is obviously a fantastic opportunity to get at your positions on AVAX. And well, lastly here, we will jump up to the one week chart where we can see this move to the downside six dollars 57 on the binance chart you know everything is starting to line up here obviously we did have the potential wxyx to the bottom however i think the momentum behind the moves to the downside are ruling this out overall where we can take this structure to the downside bring it to the swing high here we can see our target down to this one to one at six dollars and six there or six dollars 57 is its actual target and we can crack down this structure that is playing out here also in this ABC structure on the uh, daily chart. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the daily chart where we're looking for 96, we are looking for around about $7. So we can see our key area of interest is between the 882 at $7.61 and this one-to-one -one of the bigger structure at $6.57. Let us know your thoughts and your opinions on everything we have been over today. Have you filled your bags for ADA yet or are you expecting this pullback to continue to the downside to fill your bags for ADA for the bull run? Personally, I think this is a fantastic opportunity to get a great position on a fantastic project in the space. We will wrap that one up there for today though guys. Again, leave us your thoughts and your opinions. Hit up the like, subscribe and the bell button. It does help the channel out. Leave us a comment letting us know everything you think about today's content. If you're going to trade, trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space and until next time, have a very nice day.